I'm going to be showing you guys so you can create this super fire invisibility cloak effect. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to go do that because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. So instead of After Effects here, we have this clip from the Yeet Poppin music video. You want to go ahead and just duplicate it one time. So you have two clips in total and turn off the bottom clip. Once you're done doing that, you want to go over to your roto brush. You want to isolate Yeet from the background by doing this. Once you have him rotoscoped out from the background, you want to duplicate that clip. So you have two rotoscope clips. Now clicking on the first one you did, you then want to go ahead and freeze it. And then going to the second one that you did duplicate, you then want to go ahead and invert the background so it's rotoscoping out the background instead of the subject and then you want to freeze that so after that you're going to have the background cut out and yeet empty and then you're going to have a layer where it's just yeet and the background's empty next we want to click on the layer where yeet is cut out and it's just the background visible and we want to open up the content aware fill section now you want to go ahead and change that to surface and then you want to generate the fill layer once it's done we're going to have this really cool invisibility cloak just like this and it's going to look completely different based on what your footage is it just takes a lot of information from the background and turns it into this kind of cloak effect which looks really cool now, I recommend adding turbulence displace on top of it and then just playing around with the settings here i'm going to turn down the amount to five and then keyframing the evolution at the beginning and then going all the way to the end and making it do a few rotations just to add a little bit of extra movement to it and on top of that as well i'm going to drag and drop uni heat wave on and just playing with the heat intensity and the blur amount to get it to the look that you like here, i'm going to throw a little bit of a drop shadow on there and just tweak it so it's very subtle just so you can separate the background a little bit more we're going to drag and drop that rotoscope layer of heat above everything and then we're going to open up the opacity of it keyframe it at 100 and then have have it go down to zero after a few frames and make sure we easy ease that and just to make the transition a little bit cleaner we're going to add a hit with flash from shake sauce and once we have all of that blended together we'll have something like this if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe as well like i said i'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month also go check out my editing packs on my website there are a bunch of editing packs that you guys can use to level up your videos and save time see you guys in the next video